Well, Britain's health minister has resigned over a breach of coronavirus restrictions that he had implemented and strenuously enforced. Matt Hancock admitted breaking the rules after a photo and video emerged of him kissing and embracing an aide in his office. The scandal enraged fellow government ministers and angered millions of Britons who endured months of lockdown at the height of the pandemic. Hancock, ha Hancock rather, has made regular appearances on television telling people they have to stick to the rules. I understand the enormous sacrifices that everybody in this country has made, that you have made, and those of us who make these rules have got to stick by them, and that's why I've got to resign. As Britain faces its highest infection numbers since early February, it's not the most convenient time for a change of hands. Matt Hancock. He was, as health minister, the front man in deciding the UK's approach to the pandemic. But the first line of defence for everybody, no matter who you are, no matter how old you are, is to follow that social distancing so that we don't pass it on to people who will end up hospitalised or worse. But he didn't follow his own advice. He was seen locking lips with a colleague in photos and videos released by tabloid newspaper The Sun. People in Britain are furious, having endured tough pandemic restrictions. So there are countless bereaved families around the country who had to socially distance at funerals, were unable to hug their loved ones. We only had five people at my dad's funeral. And Matt Hancock's having a jolly with um, this, this lady who, who the taxpayer's paying her, her wages as well. It's really, it adds insult to incredible injury. Well, the outrage is not just among words, the public, but also Hancock's leader, political opponents. Remember, this is a time when we've seen grandparents not able to hug their grandchildren, when we've had those NHS workers making sure that they followed the rules. Pressure mounted and Hancock resigned soon after. He apologised for breaking rules that he himself had set. The next health minister will not only have to deal with the rise of the Delta variant, but also the repercussions of people feeling betrayed. DW's Charlotte Chelsea pill is in London following that story for us. Charlotte, on Friday, Prime Minister Boris Johnson refused to fire Hancock, saying the matter was closed. So why did he end up resigning? Right, uh, Boris Johnson, Prime Minister, saying that he, he accepted Matt Hancock's uh, apology and, as you say, the case was closed. But here we are. The resignation uh, has come. There are many, particularly the opposition party, main opposition party, who say the Prime Minister should have acted. But it's clear uh, over the last couple of days that the health minister's role has just become untenable. Not, as, not only has this been personally extremely humiliating for the uh, married father of three to be, have been captured in these sensational uh, images in the Sun newspaper, the leaked CCTV footage, which really is uh, gripping the nation here. But this is about so much more than that. This is about the fact that the man who, who made the rules, and as you said in your opening there, the man who preached the rules for months and months over and over again, telling the public here how to live their lives, then seemed to break those very same rules. At the time that uh, these um, uh, images were taken, it was against uh, COVID guidance here in the UK to to have uh, intimate, uh, to be close to people outside of your own household. So it is indisputable here that this was a breach uh, of that guidance. And that's just caused so much upset amongst the public who've made so many sacrifices, like so many around the world, to stay in line with COVID guidance. And the question was, can the man who has done that then go on to be trusted by the public? This pandemic is far from over. He will have had to continue to make public health messages. The question is, will he be listened to? And the other point to make mm. is that this is uh, just the latest in a series of scandals to beset the health minister, leaked text messages allegedly from the prime minister, uh, accusing the health minister of, of uh, making missteps, of not being suitable for the role. Mm. So a lot of questions about his conduct during this pandemic and about this scandal will continue to follow him. Yeah, indeed, I'm sure. Now, former finance minister Sajid Javid is now in charge of that portfolio. It's a difficult task at a difficult time, especially with the UK seeing a new surge of infections with the aggressive Delta variant, isn't it? 
Right. Well, there will be some who see Sajid Javid as a safe pair of hands. He has had a number of top roles in government, including a finance secretary. So many will be uh, confident in, in his uh, ability to handle this job going forward. But make no mistake, this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest role uh, outside the prime minister in government at the moment, handling this global pandemic. He uh, doesn't have experience with the uh, health uh, portfolio, so he will have a huge amount to catch up on in a very short space of time. In just the next couple of weeks, decisions will have to be made on whether the UK continues to uh, loosen those final uh, COVID-19 restrictions here. So it's a, it's a huge uh, job for this, albeit very experienced minister. All right, Charlotte, thank you. DW's Charlotte Chelsea Pill in London.